Hi, everybody. Glad you could be with us. Tim Kitcher here along with former great Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy? Thanks, Tim. You know, I feel like strapping it on right now. I mean, I would love to play in this game. I hear that, Jimmy. The strap on what? <laughs> and so, the leadoff hitter steps up to the plate. Under that one to center field. And Crisp pulls it in. One out, nobody on base. First baseman, Shelton, stands in. Get on the line, back up the middle. And Shelton reaches base safely. One out, man on first. Schilling stares down the batter. Chopper up the middle. In time. He got him. He had a chance to run it out, but he got out of the box a little slaughter. After a half inning of play, we are scoreless. Man, there are a lot of steps up here to the booth. You know, it's a wonder that we have never fallen down. Yeah, once in St. Louis, I slipped on a half-eaten brat, shattered my fibula, six places, ruptured my coccyx. Actually, I had to solder some of my bones together. A coccyx? Fly ball, right field. And Chris has himself a base hit. Loretta gets ready. He's tempted, but holds up on the non-strike. Strike at the letters. Now, this umpire is known for having a real pitcher strike zone. You know, he can also do magic tricks. He pulled a nickel out of my ear, and I, I stole his wallet. The pitch. Hit on the ground right side. Out. And he beats the throw. One out, and they've got a man on second. First baseman, number 34, David Ortiz. Delivers. Hit in the air to left. The Red Sox take the lead. And Ortiz has a double. He really drove that ball. He was most of the way to second before the defense could do anything about it. Ramirez steps in. Oh, just a terrific pitch there. You know, I'm sure that pitch is sailing over the fence in his mind. Loops one, shallow right. And Ramirez reaches base safely. That's nice. Now you can talk to the first baseman, see how things are going. Only one out, runners at the corners. Nixon. Steps in. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike one. Man, he wanted to crush that thing like a thing he'd want to crush. Get in the air to center field. And he puts it away. Two outs, runners at the corners. Foul down the right field line. There's a shot, second base. Fires to first, and he is out. Half 
after an inning of play, the Red Sox lead by one. Tonight on an all-new episode of Time Zone, Dr. Simon forgets to set his wristwatch back an hour. And here comes the bat at the plate, lead off the inning. Hinge digs in. Schilling with the windup. And he cracks one to the alley and right. Fires to the plate. The play at third. And Inge reaches third base safely. No outs, a runner at third. The shortstop, number nine, Carlos Guillen. And the hitter didn't get what he was looking for there. The catcher called for the old number one, and the pitcher, he just burned it right in there, baby. A swing at the splitter, it comes up empty. And he was completely full on that pitch, huh, Jimmy? That's embarrassing. You know, he's got to be so ticked off at himself. Oh, man, I hate that feeling. Kind of like that feeling you get right after you step in dog dude. And half the country just watched you do it. Only one out, and they've got a man on third. Monroe steps into the batter's box. Schilling, the windup. He took a good cut there. I like to see that. You ask me, there's too much waiting for pitches these days. It kind of drags the game out. Yeah, like us talking. Skies it. He makes the grab. There are two outs, but they've got a man on third. Logan stands in. Chops hard, left side. Lowell picks it up. He got him. With the bottom of the second coming up, the Red Sox lead by one. Tim, do you think a thousand years from now, baseball will be the same as it is today? No, prices will be higher. Hot dog will cost probably $700. Box seats will go for about $20,000. I could never see paying more than $500 for a hot dog. No. Unless it's a jumbo dog. Chopped hard to the shortstop. The play at first. In time. One out. Nobody on base. The catcher. Jason Veritek. Looper to shallow right. And Veritek has himself a single. One out, runner at first base. Fly ball, left field. Veritek heads for third. Guns it to first. And Cora is on with a single. Only one out, runners at the corners. Crisp digs in. Fly ball, right center. And he'll make the play. And so there are two outs, men on first and third. Loretta gets ready. And down goes the hitter, look out. Ortiz, and he is one for one today. Doubled and came around in his last try. Line smash. 
And Cora scores to widen the lead. And the ball pops loose. He just dropped the ball. Out. After two innings, the Red Sox lead by three. If you didn't see the game yesterday, you missed the skydivers who landed in center field, then sang, take me out to the ballpark during the seventh inning stretch. It was great. And they got that guy down off the foul pole by the ninth inning. Hit hard, but right at the first baseman. at bat. Big swing and a miss, and he comes up as empty as the toilet paper roll in the stadium, John. Real poetry that, Tim. Swing and a miss, strike two. Holy camoly, that was some kind of whirly, uh, curl, curly knuckler. Actually, I don't think there's a name for that pitch, Jimmy. Well, uh, let's call it a slippery wizard. After two and a half innings, the Red Sox lead by three. Tonight, after the game, it's another episode of Gangsters. Find out why critics are calling it not just another glorification of violence and illegal activities by unlikable antisocial characters in a bleak, lifeless setting. Oh, he just looked terrible on that cut, Jimmy. Oh, you look good in the cage today, but, you know, it's easy to look good when you have an 85-year-old man. Did he get enough? He did! A home run! And Ramirez gives his team a four-run lead. And as he breaks into his home run shot, you gotta figure he feels like the king of Siam right now. Whatever the heck that is. I can't even see where the ball landed. Did it, did it land yet? Do you think this guy could still hit a homer if he hit it off his knuckles? I mean, he just punched the ball? Oh, no doubt about it, Jimmy. These guys are a strong capital S. I hit a single off my elbow once. It shattered my elbow, but it was worth it. He won. No outs. Nobody on base. Nixon gets ready. Hit hard on the ground, right side. And he is out. One out. Bases are empty. Number 20, Kevin Euclid. There's a shot left field. Rose to second. And Euclid pulls up at second with a double. One out with a runner on second. Lowell stands in. Well, you couldn't throw that pitch any faster if you were falling out of an airplane, Jimmy. Well, you know, I wonder if you threw it while you were falling, if you'd catch up to it and catch it again. And the pitcher's ahead 0-1. And he lifts this one to right field. Ordonez plays it off the bounce. And Lowell has himself a single. Veritek, one for one this game. Single last time up. It's a dying quail, and he pulls it down. Guns it to second, throws to first. Cora, one for one on the day. Single last time up. And now the 
pitch. And it's hit hard right back up the middle. And Euclidus scores to widen the lead. Two outs, runners on first and second. And it's popped up foul. And he lets that one go by for a ball. The ump called that a ball? You know, maybe uh, next game he and I should change places. I can't do any worse than him. Hit hard, second base. Polanco pulls it in. With three innings in the books, Boston leads by five. Tonight, it's an all-new episode of Duh! Watch as Dad gets all ah, which makes the kids go all whatever. Shelton, one for one this game. Single last time up. Chris Shelton! Gets under it, right field. Let's go. Let's go. The play at second. Yeah. And Shelton is on second with a double. And he dropped the ball. No outs, runner at second. This one has a chance. See you later. That's a home run. And Polanco narrows the deficit to three. He really scrambled that egg. In fact, he turned it into a powder egg. That's what you call instant offense, Timmy. Just add this guy. Didn't look like he had much on that pitch at all, Jimmy. Aside from the gift wrapping, I'd say you're right, Tim. No outs. Nobody on base. Fires. Hit in the air to right center. This one could be extra bases. Fires to third. And in. Winds up at second with a double. Runner at second. There's a shot. Unbelievable. Hey, you would have told me about that catch later. I would have called you a stink of fire. He is out of there. And they turn the double play. The key to the double play is the second out. Without it, you know, it's not a double play. The pitch. That one hit him. Oh boy. Oh, that is that is no fun at all. Ah. Oh. Oh. Now that that's over, let's try and remember to take out our frustrations on the ball and not the other players, right? Remember, it's not violent if you hit a ball. Now it's two outs, one on. to first, and he didn't get him. Fly ball, center field. And Ramirez makes the grab for the final out. And so in the middle of the fourth, Boston leads by three. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling so hot. Last night I swallowed some loose change. By accident? That was kind of a bet. Stepping nope, I was plate. trying to entertain the grandkids, and now I got three ex-presidents looking for the exit door. Oh, boy. Loops one, shallow right. He makes the grab.
One out, nobody on base. Ortiz steps in. The pitch. Holy smoke! And the pitcher might want to think twice before throwing the beanball when there's a bona fide hothead at the plate. One out, runner at first base. Ramirez digs in. Lays it down. Rodney fields it off the bounce. Out. And Ramirez reaches base safely. Two outs, and they've got a man on first. Nixon steps into the batter's box. Herman now the windup. Oh, and that one has him flailing around like a flamingo on a hot plate. Legs and knees all. Jimmy, did you get in a lot of fights when you played in the show? Show? Uh, what is this? It's baseball, team. It's not a show. No, the big show. No, it's the big, it's baseball. There are two outs. Men on first and second. The pick off to second. And he's safe. The throw to second. And he's back safely. And he popped that ball. He's running. The play at second. Herman, and here's the windup. There's a shot, right field. And Ardonez makes the catch for the final out. As we go to the fifth inning, Boston leads by three. Ever wonder what it's like to strike out five times in a game, boot the final out and let the winning run score, or get taken out of the game in the first inning after being shelled with your family in the stands? Then sign up for Reality Baseball Fantasy Camp at www.waytoblowit.com. And that's a ball, says the ump. Releases. Oh, big, big cut there. You know, I wonder if you swing hard enough, if you could swing right through a ball. Well, that's what he just did there, Jimmy. No, I mean like karate chopper, you know what I mean? It just splits in half and flies into the stands. Then two people are catching one ball. High hopper up the middle. Gums it to first, and Ardonez is on first with a single. No outs and a man on. Schilling winds up. Young takes a called strike to count his own one. Couldn't hold up. Now he's in the hole 0 and 2. The pitcher said, hey, buddy, got changed for a nickel. No reason to be swinging at a pitch like that. Rodriguez, 0 for 2 in this game. Struck out his last time up. Number seven, Ivan Rodriguez. Line shot. He is safe. And Rodriguez has himself a base hit. He got on base. That's, the, that's his job. Shelton. Two hits and two at bats. Doubled last time up. He gets under this one, hit to right center. This could be extra bases. And Ardonez scores to narrow the deficit. And Shelton pulls up at second with a double. That's a nice double bagger. Just like that kid at the grocery store down my street. Little creep. Polanco, one for two thus far. A two-run home run his last time up. And he comes up empty. He wasn't sure he wanted to swing at that one, though. Maybe he shouldn't have swung. Hit hard. And it's caught by the shortstop. And the ball is knocked loose. Yeah. 
Hinge, two for two on the day. Doubled last time up. Delivers with the looper to short right. And Loretta makes the play look difficult. After that half inning of play, Boston leads by two. Tonight, following the game, it's an all-new episode of Billy Dirtbag. See why Joe Flugel of the Orlando Sentinel calls it a crime drama so gritty, you might want to watch it under running water. And here's the batter to lead things off. Herman winds up. Big swing and a miss there, Jimmy. You know what? If that bat would have flown out of his hands, it would have gone way over the center field wall. Got under that one to right center. And Ardonez makes the catch. Veritek, one for two to this point. Flying out his last at bat. Jason Veritek. Gets under it to left field. The play at second. And he is tagged out. There are two out. Base is empty. Sperling. The wind up. High hopper towards second. In time. And so at the end of the inning, Boston leads by two. If you were a baseball player, would you shave your legs? And Jimmy, you don't have to be a baseball player to shave your legs anymore. Body shaving is very popular. Just look at any men's fashion magazine. My Uncle Ted once, he's so hairy, he got near a campfire and burst into flames. And he may have just short-circuited the radar gun with that fastball. I think he threw his arm out of the armpit socket. You know, my uncle did that picking up my porky sister. That one's a little too far in. It's a dying quail, and he puts it away. One out, bases are empty. Fly ball, right field. And he pulls it down. Two outs, nobody on base. The big, big swing comes up empty. He needs to choke up a little on that bat, you know? No one won. Swing and a miss, strike two. You know, there's got to be a good reason he swung at that, but I'm so tired of trying to figure this guy out. I I don't know. Well, I don't know if this guy's got ants in his pants, water on the brain, but something's going on, and it is not baseball. With the bottom of the inning coming up, Boston leads by two. Say, Tim, what would you say is your favorite sports memory? Chris, one for three on the day. Fly it out his last at bat. Hit in the air to left. And it careens off the wall. Monroe fields this one on the bounce. And Chris has a double. No outs, man on second. Let's see if he can put the bat on the ball. Number three, Mark. Loretta steps in. And he fired off a rocket with that pitch. I bet if they used a beach ball, he might have got the hold of that one. Fires. He fired a BB past him there. Go, go, go. 
Strike three. Aw, oh, he knew it. He knew he had nothing but air halfway through that swing. Ooh, that hurts. Number 34, David Ortiz. Percival, the windup. Down the line, just foul. Owen won the count. There's a shot into center field. The throw to first. And Ortiz has himself a single. Just one out. Men on first and third. Ramirez. Ramirez digs in. Marath with the windup. Hit in the air to right field. This ball is going to be trouble. And Chris scores to widen the lead. Rose to third. Out. And the ball pops loose. Safe. And another run crosses the plate. There are two outs. Base is empty. Number seven, Nixon. And that's line to second. He got him. Tim, do you suppose a ballpark has ever run out of baseballs during a game? After the bottom half of the inning, Boston leads by four. Ordonez, one for two in this game. Single last time up. Wells looks in. Line drive to second. And Ordonez has himself a base hit. Young, 0 for 2 so far. Struck out his last time up. Wells, now set. Line drive. The play at second, and he beats the throw. No outs, runners on base. Ball inside. This guy has eyes like a chameleon. They go all the way around his head. Watch, he'll do it. Gets under it, center field. And Chris makes the grab. He's in there safely. Only one out here, and they've got runners at second and third. Target the second baseman. The Tigers reduce the lead. <laughs> Only one out, runners at the corners. Number 14, Lasado Polanco. It's a dying quail. And Young scores to narrow the deficit. Got him. And Polanco winds up at second with a double. Two outs now. Man on second. Hinge stands in. Hit in the air to center field. And Inge reaches base safely. And so there are two outs, men on first and third. Wells, now ready. Wells, now the windup. Soft line drive. Loretta can't come up with it. And Guillen has himself a base hit. Well, he won the battle with the pitcher. Now let's see if he can come around and score. There are two outs, but they do have runners on base. Monroe gets ready. Oh, he has 
hit by the pitch, and he will hobble down to first base in pain. Logan, he's 0 for 3 thus far. Struck out his last time up. Hit hard to the alley and left. And Ramirez puts it away to retire the side. After that half inning of play, Boston leads by one. You know, have you ever smelled a baseball glove, Tim? I mean, that smell is oil. Baseball's got a lot of great smell. And here comes the batter to lead things off this inning. Eucalyptus gets ready. Gets under it, right field. And Ardonez pulls it down. One out, nobody on base. Lowell steps in. Let me break that play down for you. Mind-boggling pitch. Flailing swing for a strike. And the pitcher's ahead 0-1. High bouncer, right side. And it goes through the right side. And Lowell has himself a base hit. Foul back. Owen won the count. And that'll be a foul ball. It's a dying quail. The play at second. He is safe. And Vertek reaches base safely. Just one out, men on first and second. Gets under it to left center. And Monroe puts it away. Two outs, runners on first and second. Line smash, and Polanco catches it for the final out. After the bottom half of the inning, Boston leads by one. Hey, sports fans, is your toilet clogged at home? Next time, forget your everyday plunger. Reach for Pullman's toilet grenade. Ordonez, two for three on the day. Single last time up. Hit in the air to right center. And Ardonez reaches base safely. No outs and a man on. First baseman, number 25, Dimitri Young. Fly ball, right center. And he'll make the play. One out, one on. The catcher, number seven, Ivan Rodriguez. And he lifts this one to right field. And he puts it away. Fires to first. And he dropped the ball. He's having some kind of day. Boy, oh boy. Shelton. Wells, the windup, hard ground ball toward the hole. The throw to first, and Shelton is on with a single. Polanco, doubled and came around in his last try. 
Wells, now set to deliver. Get on the line to short. Gums it to first. Out. After that half inning of play, Boston leads by one. Portions of today's game are being brought to you by Walt's World of Wax. From candles to celebrity heads, Walt has the wax you're looking for. Custom molds are available, too. Get on the line. Fires to first. The throw to second. And he is tagged out. One out. Bases are empty. Marath sets up. Chopper to the hole. The play at first, and he is out. Ramirez doubled and came around in his last try. Ramirez. And he lines one foul. No one won. He was a little wild with that cut, Jimmy, but you know, as a manager, I'd rather have an aggressive wild hitter than, say, a guy who's afraid to swing. Swingers get a bad rap, I agree. You know, it's intimidating to the pitcher to see some nut waving a stick around his eyes are bulging out. And Monroe pulls it in to end the frame. And so, at the end of the inning, Boston leads by one. You know, Jimmy, every day when I come out to the ballpark, it reminds me that the simplest things in life are uh, still the best. Sunshine, beautiful grass, families. Nah, I'm just talking. Hinge stands in. Pop foul. Owen won the count. Hit in the air to right field. Nixon. Picks it up off the bounce. And Inge has himself a single. No outs, man on first. Wells has the sign. And he lays it down perfectly. Guns it to second. He got him. And Guillen reaches on the fielder's choice. One out, one on. Monroe steps into the batter's box. Pitch on the way. And he lays one down. The play at second. In time. And Monroe reaches base safely. The Tigers with their last hope coming to the plate. Logan digs in. It's sharply into center field. And Logan has himself a base hit. There are two outs, but they do have runners on base. Ordonez stands in. Line shot to second. And Ordonez is on first with a single. Two outs, and the bases are loaded. Dimitri Young. Hit high in the air, left center. And, and that should do it. The Red Sox win the game. And that's it for us. On behalf of our entire staff, I'm Tim Kittrell. Good night, everyone. Speaking of staff, they fired that new guy, Ned, the stack guy. Why? I liked him. Because he was making up numbers. You know, I thought 30 stolen bases was a little high for David Wells. 